hello again. Uh, I'm excited to get this one started. There's no introduction. There's no faff. We're getting right in because I've got so much to speak about. My special guest today on the podcast of Still is Jonathan, the Daily Kryptonian. What's up? How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> this has been a long time coming. And uh, yeah. for those that are on YouTube, hello. We've, hello. We're looking fantastic. We, we've got, we, we're dressed to impress, as you said, Jonathan. You oh, are looking yeah. great. Now, this is that a Superman baseball jersey? That is, yes. I, I, I've, I've not, baseball. that's the thing. We don't get much baseball over here. Um, oh, you don't. But I found out I do. I am a fan of baseball, and um, it's okay. coming to the UK next year. There's a couple of games coming that I might try and attend oh. because I've only visited one baseball game, and that was in Arkansas many years ago. Had a fantastic okay. time. Okay. Oh, um, so you've been to the? I have. I've been to the states. Um, oh wow! Okay. Been to uh, Arkansas and New York and and Florida, and um and to 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 smallville the home of the superman museum and the superman Amazing. celebration Love it. which i think in the next couple of years is going to get a lot more busier for obvious reasons but oh, yes, yeah, without a doubt you are here today on the podcast yeah. of still to talk everything superman because what else are we going to talk about jonathan <laughs> exactly exactly there's nothing more important than superman the man of steel himself especially now that it's buzzing all over the place <laughs> i mean it's, it's always a good time to be a superman fan but over the of recent course. months and the years in the future it's it's going to be an exciting ride for sure so that is what we will be oh, talking yes. about on this episode of the podcast of steel but first of all jonathan as always yes. with guests that are on the show um, I'd like to hear your origin story, as it were, where where everything began to oh, you course. to where we are today. So take it away. Amazing. Sir. Of course. Yeah. So uh, I'm from New York. I'm uh, far away from you, but not too far. They come visit still. Uh, um, I grew up in a town that was like Smallville, a very small town in the mountains. And then I moved down to the big city. Uh Kind of like, you know, how yeah. Clark Kent moved down <laughs> to Metropolis, but uh, I'm Cypriot Greek. I have huge family values. Uh, I love comics and, you know, I love Superman. That's why <laughs> I'm happy to ha be on the Geek of Steel, the Geek of Podcast. Um, and yeah, and just living my life, living the best life that you can. <laughs> that's it. And, and that's why I, I love talking with, with passionate people, whether it be about Superman or movies or music, whatever brings us yeah. joy. I've, I've mentioned this in the past that when we, when we talk to people that are passionate about mm -hmm. anything, a sudden little light inside them brightens up right. and we, we get more emotive. We start talking more. We start using our hands more because we get excited about yeah. what we're <laughs> talking about. Excited. And that's yeah. the passion. That's what we find. And that's what I love to find out about people. So that oh, is yeah. what we're going to talk about with you today. We've got a And, uh, you know, before, before you continue, yes, I did want to say, I wanted to just give you a shout out and okay. just let you know that you are big in our community. You are somebody who does inspire people like me who was watching you, you know, when you first started, you know, that really got me into during COVID, you know, that's what I was listening to what I was watching I was following you and you know I want to say thank you to you as well who have inspired so many in our community <laughs> oh so. that's that's very nice John thank you for that that means a lot I mean I, I'm trying to um always give compliments it's 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 important to, to give them I'm trying to get better yes. at, at receiving them as well oh, yeah. I, I sometimes <laughs> get a little bit shy around that but it, I, I listen no, no. to every single word and Definitely. I know that when I am editing this podcast back, I'm going to enjoy yeah. those words and I'm going to remember those words. Of course, because, and I uh, hope you do. I, words are important. And, and that's the sort of thing that, that pushes me forward and, and wants mm -hmm. me to speak with more people like you because it it, it, <laughs> it it makes me want to do more. So, yes, let's talk about Superman, buddy. Let's let's talk about yes, your man. connections with Superman and the connections with yeah. Smallville and, and everything in between because you've got a few inspirational stories up your sleeves that we will share. Yes. There's some exciting yes. things in your Goodies. future. And um, I'm excited <laughs> for that. So, But wh where did it begin with Superman for you, Jonathan? Oh, for me, it was uh, a kid watching uh, super the animated Superman TV show. You know, I would 
I have, there's five of us. I'm one of five siblings. So wow. the TVs were always taken up. So I would always be on YouTube watching, you know, <laughs> Superman and then Justice League, which I'm a huge fan of the animated nice. shows. And that's kind of where I started um, with Superman. And uh, really it was Justice League and Justice League Unlimited that got me into it. And then I started researching on YouTube, got into that, you know, the Superman animated, then got into Batman animated. But of course you love Batman, but you fall in love with Superman. You wanted to be Superman. I remember going, you know, my brothers would always get glasses to where they needed glasses because they were blind. <laughs> and I would cry to my mom, I want to wear glasses. Come on, I want to be like Clark Kent. Just give me my glasses. And she goes, no, you can't wear glasses. Just leave it alone. And I was like, but I want to. <laughs> she goes, you're an odd kid. Why would you want to wear glasses? People don't want to wear glasses. I was like, but I do you see Superman, mom? <laughs> he wears the glasses. <laughs> um, so yeah, then, you know, really got into Power Rangers and all of that stuff. But really, Superman was the guy that I would always go to. And I would tell people at school, you know, my teachers would always ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I would always tell them, you know, I want to be the first plus size Superman. I want to be the first plus size Power Rangers, you know, because I they make you feel like you could do anything. Um, and he's just so inspirational that I loved him um, from the get-go, from six years old to when I learned how to watch the YouTube videos to, you know, Saturdays in the States were always, you know, you got on and it was Superman. Then Justice League was on after. Then Teen Titans was on after. And then, you know, Power Rangers, it was all on Saturday because we were in school Monday to Friday. So they jam pack it on a Saturday, which was a blessing eventually. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's something that we um we did get sort of Saturday morning TV shows here when I was a kid. We mm -hmm. didn't get as we got a few cartoons sort of throughout right. the throughout it, but I, I always sort of a little bit jealous of that American pop culture where there was oh, yeah. always always something new coming out. Whereas back then, you know, before the internet, because I'm old man yeah. over here, um, we would have to wait months, years before things made it to to VHS. Oh, yeah even before the DVDs and wow. the streaming. We had we had to wait, dude. We had to wait. <laughs> wow, wow. That's, I mean, I was just thinking about this the other day. Have you guys watched the new season of Superman and Lois yet? That has never, happened, yeah. So that's- That has happened. Because I never understood why you guys always get the delay. I, we got to talk to the higher ups. What's going on over here? <laughs> I've been trying for years, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the it's thing. Crazy. I mean, with the state of streaming right now, Right. Um, when it comes to TV shows that are released around the world, like you've got your Stranger Things, you've got Witcher, you've got everything that yeah. comes out at the same time around the world. For TVs and TV networks, especially with America, it's always been a lot different. And I I've shared on the podcast that my love for Superman started with Smallville. Um, woke hmm. up one morning and the pilot was on TV and I was like, oh, I recognize this story. Even though I wasn't the right. Superman fan that I am today back then. I knew who Superman was. He's like Coca-Cola. Right. You know who that guy is. So you know the story. You know the mythos. And I got into that show in a big way. And when season one ended, I was like, now what? What, what, what can I do yeah. now? I've got to wait. It was a weekly show. I liked that I had to wait a week for each new episode. But then right. there was that huge wait. One, we didn't know if we were going to get a second season. Two, we didn't know if the UK was going to pick it up, as it were, because yeah, we had to, right. to get it from the networks. And what do you do in that time? So I read a lot of Superman stories and got into the, oh, into the comics. So yeah. there's there's always that there's that back catalogue of Superman stories that, that right. is out there. But yeah, um, if it's modern day stuff, so yeah, like like with Superman and Lois, and like with everything, like with like the like right. the cartoons, um, we don't know when it's gonna come out over here, but Right. As you said, we need to get, we need to sit down. We need to speak with all those big wigs. Everyone gets We need to it. talk to James Gunn. James Gunn, listen, right. what are you doing over there? James, yeah, if you're, you know, one of the <laughs> we'll busiest men, one of the busiest <laughs> men in the world. If, if you are listening to the podcast, James, yeah. welcome, first of all. Secondly, <laughs> when are you coming on the show to talk about some, a few exactly. things? I've got, I've got a few questions that I'd like questions. to ask you. Just tiny questions. Just tiny. Yes, no, there's no spoilers, <laughs> but I've got like a few dozen books about yeah. ideas that could be in Superman films and Superman right. films in the future. But, <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, I think we should all get not shows at the same time as such, but it's difficult right. because a lot of the time shows like Star Wars, 
mm. shows like all the Marvel shows. They're always fun to watch. I've just recently finished the right. new Loki series. Love that. Oh, yes. Thought it was Great fantastic. Series. Yes. But it doesn't, it, it's sort of instantaneous. As soon as a brand new episode comes out, somebody is online posting spoilers Spoiling about something. it straight oh, yeah. away. It's and it's crazy. It's, it's difficult to enjoy something when you're. Yeah. Wanting to talk about it with like-minded followers around the world, but then right. all you got to do is accidentally see something that you don't want to see, and it's spoiled. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that's. And I there's... always think of that too because I want to post, you know, things that just happened on Superman and Lois, or you know, of course, non-spoiler things that could have been in a trailer or something like that. But then I'm yeah. thinking, wait, but our UK family hasn't seen it. How are we going to post it? Then we're spoiling it for them. And, <laughs> and then, then it, you know, it, Australia. It, yeah, and that's it. And it happens a lot, yeah. sadly. But there was um there was a situation here a few years ago where um I was talking about Doctor Who because because a, a new Doctor oh, Who Doctor episode Who. had happened, and I was yeah. talking about it. I think the day after, and I upset um a few followers in America, which I was deeply sorry oh, about. No. But I was like, well, like this yeah. is all this is our like one show that we get. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> that you I'm guys sorry. get first. And then... that, yeah, that's yeah. it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah. now there are lots of ways that you can sort of mute words on Twitter and Instagram right. so that it doesn't turn up. So I think I'll be uh, possibly using those in the upcoming months when TV oh. shows and films are out. <laughs> well, I hope. And uh, did you guys get um, excuse me, uh, Smallville? We did from the beginning. You did okay, good. It, that's but, the iconic <laughs> TV it show. Was, it was difficult, but again, it was yeah. it was weekly. But yeah, we wouldn't we wouldn't get it then. We would get it like six months okay. down the line um, so we okay. had a big wait but um right. you know there were ways back in the day when one could watch certain television programs yeah. um and <laughs> you know lime wire there's a there's a name like, people haven't used oh, yeah. in a few years but there were there were ways around it again back on youtube before so many streaming laws came into play is that right. you could go onto youtube and you and you could watch a lot of tv shows um and that would always help. But I would back right. then Amazon was was, you know, it was doing pretty new. It was still a quite a new company. Yeah. And I could get DVDs and VHS from America. I would have right. to get sort of a sort of DVD players, as it were, from America mm -hmm. to play it. But that was my dedication yeah. to Superman. We 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 well, you know, we we don't want to not be able to watch things, whether it be on digital right. discs from Asia or DVDs and video discs <laughs> yeah. from America. We want to be able to watch those shows. And it's the same. I mean, it's always been that way. Even when it goes back to sort of when there were alternative cuts to the um, Superman movies from the 70s and 80s, there were right. ways that in America, we couldn't get them over here, but you could sort of, you could search. You could find right. people in the know that would find those certain variants that you could add to your collection. Able... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So and now you can just go on Twitter and they have them all like record. I saw like a whole Smallville episode on Twitter for the Blue Beetle where Blue Beetle was in Smallville. And I was like, how did they upload this? And not I mean, get, uh... yeah, you, you normally it's find that an account that does share <laughs> like that. They yeah. won't be around for long. They, they no, but you have it. to. That's it. It's like having a burner yeah. phone. Somebody would make an account <laughs> just to share something. And I mean, yeah. no, nobody wants to sort of be naughty and get in trouble with of the course. big wigs, but you course, know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I can remember, I can remember that Blue Beetle episode. Um, it, oh, you yeah. know, that, that was that was Smallville. You know, it wasn't the first TV show about superheroes by a long shot, no, but yeah. for me, it had the most consistency. It was there for what ten seasons. It mm -hmm. pretty much had so much from the DC catalog of heroes and villains and storylines and it had a lot of good it had a lot of not so good <laughs> right it didn't hold back it's it was something that really it it and it really it, covered the it was you know about of course you know Clark Kent and everything mm -hmm. but it really covered the DC universe there oh, were so on, many yeah. characters that you were like whoa they put this you know Booster Gold was in it um, and I mean like all these and that's what I mean. So and, for me, watching that show, it, it was my, yeah, that was my opener into the world of of right. DC comics. I, again, I knew Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. I I knew right. all of these characters. I didn't necessarily know much about Green Arrow. I didn't right. know much about Hawkman. I didn't know much right. about a lot of characters. But from that series, I was like, right, now I need to know more about this character. And from that, I right. was like, right, well, that character knows this character. Let's. 
go on a red string adventure and pin them on the cork board oh, and yeah. find out how these characters interact. And I'm still doing that. Um, as as yeah. I can see there behind you, there is a DC Comics encyclopedia, which oh yes, oh, the best purchase, the amazing I'm, purchase. <laughs> I'm I've I've had a few over the years. Um, DC Comics oh, yeah. and and DK Books, they make some fantastic encyclopedias. There's always yeah. something new or something that's so obscure that they're not added. They're always a good right. place to go to. Yes, we, we we can jump online and we can search on Google, but there's something about having a book in the front book of you. And just reading. And that is it. Alphabetical order, going through, oh, yeah. finding all the real hardcore oh, facts. Yeah. So I, and I mean, I feel like you need it now too with, uh, you know, James Gunn diving into the DCU because he's pulling out characters that, you know, I might have, you know, we might have never heard and you pull this encyclopedia you're, and you're intrigued. You're like, this is why James Gunn put <laughs> this character in here or in there. I mean, it, um, he he likes the obscure. He likes the interesting. Yes. Um, we've yes. seen that with um, with his Suicide Squad. We've seen that yes. with a lot of things, and, and most recently with um, he's been promoting the the strange and unsung heroes of the DC multiverse. Oh yes, and um, that's a, a fantastic book. And um, and on the yes. previous episode, I, I spoke with uh, Stephanie, the author of that book. And again, it's a lot of those characters you won't find in DC comics inside like right. you can go on wikipedia and find some information that would mm -hmm. probably be a little bit sketchy of and course. not 100 yeah, accurate but nature. as you said james gunn has um he's got a lot of love for the characters but but yeah. comics that's what i like he's been um, really and i think that's the the best stories. part of uh you know dc is and we've seen it through the years where i do think it does differ a little bit from you know, Marvel is the incorporation of our comic books too. You know, you have your movies, but they also, with the books, follow movies sometimes or follow the times. And mm. I, I really do think, you know, growing up, I had, you know, a, a speech issue uh, and I would read, that's kind of what would help me is I would read Superman comics and I would read all of this stuff, but it was the best way to learn about what I was watching also um, because they really do follow the stories uh in the television or in the cinema and all of that um so i think that's also what's great about dc and that's it as i said going back to the the, uh, the superman animated series there was um yeah they weren't i mean i always want more they could have always made more superman episodes but from that yeah we had the justice league animated series which was fantastic and phenomenal um they've recently been added to to netflix in the uk so they're they're constantly oh, on the play good. in the background. I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. I've got them on VHS. I've got them on DVD. Yes. <laughs> I you love them. On all. <laughs> I do. I love physical media. Yeah. We, we never know when oh, all yeah. these streaming sites are going to go down. So it's um, but yeah. to have it on Netflix. If I'm like out and about, I've got my phone. I say, like, oh, what can I do? I've got ten minutes to spare. Watch. Let's, let's yeah, throw yeah. on. Let's throw on a classic episode of that and enjoy Everything. that. But <laughs> those animated series, as you said, they were they were comics brought to life. It was the actual right. you know, kids that grew up reading comics throughout the week, as you said, and then yeah. it came to Saturday and they had these morning TV shows and then they, could, oh, yeah. they could go from that and they could go straight back into the comics and enjoy their heroes even more. So yeah, that's, that's right. how, you know, back in the day, how, how the fans came to be. And that's yeah. why oh, yeah. I, I still love Superman in, in comics for that reason, whether yeah. it's from that, early starting point going back to the 1930s when when kids were reading superhero and superman comics for the first time mm -hmm. it's still that sense it's still that that mode of escapism and storytelling with superman right. and and like-minded heroes there are other superheroes out there but clearly oh, we, yeah. we, we are biased for superman jonathan of course yeah <laughs> back to james gunn though was this could oh be, yes this could get the conversation talking for hours superman oh, yeah. superman legacy it's been exciting right. it's been controversial all the news that's been brought out about this i know you've had lots of opinions on this which i'm excited to yes. hear more about but Very when well. you heard well. the news about well let's get back a little bit further let's let's when we hmm. had the news that henry cavill was coming back as superman oh yeah and then that was taken away within like about a week how how did yeah. that news hit you jonathan listen i was i'm a huge 
Henry Cavill fan. I'm a huge Man of Steel. I think he played the part amazing. I was ecstatic when I saw he was coming back. I did kind of feel, you know, he was coming back to help Black Adam. No, I felt like they did that in order to get numbers up, but I loved that he was coming back. I was so excited. And then when they pulled the plug, knowing everything, I was devastated. I was I was devastated at that moment. I had to take a, a step back. I had to take a week <laughs> off. I was like, I need I need time to myself. No one bother me. <laughs> I uh, do not yet. disturb on my do phone, not... <laughs> everything. <laughs> just just give me some time. Just give me some time <laughs> to cope. To cope and think about what's going on. It was, but it was that. It was bizarre. It's something that everyone has talked about for so yeah. many years. Was yes. Henry Cavill not only as Superman, but coming back as Superman. Right. And there was a photograph that The Rock shared years ago of him right. and Henry in, I think, in in, in The Rock's in back tequila. garden. Yes. Drink, yeah, drinking again some tequila, tequila very yeah. on brand. And <laughs> yeah. at that moment, people were like, "Well, nothing's been announced, but the only thing that The Rock could possibly portray is Black Adam." So right. what's happening there? And again, that that photograph finally did come out, and it and it was true. It did happen. We got a Superman and Black Adam, but just not for yeah. very long. Which, not yeah. a long time, bro. But it was a good time, and you know, like, we'll you know we'll hold on to at least we could see some kind of at least we got something else besides what we've had already which was amazing we, we got did. one last thing of and that's what i've come to realize it's like okay we got that last little bit of and that's Henry it. Cavill. There, there, there's yeah. some conclusion to to that superman legacy right but, i mean yes superman henry i'm i'm a huge henry fan he's all around yeah me. you can see that but <laughs> superman I see all has, the there's yeah. it. but there's henry there's christopher there's brandon's up there of course and it's for me i'm yeah. always it's Team Superman. That's that's who I'm supporting. I think that's the most important thing that I realized too. It's we're Superman fans. We're you know, of course, we love Henry, and like you just said, you have Christopher behind you, you have Brandon behind you. You know, we've had Dean, we have had Tyler, who's an amazing Superman. We'll all there will always be a new Superman. So that's at that's, this point, that's where yeah, that, and that's it. And that's I, I realized I'm a Superman fan before the actor fan, <laughs> and that's that, that's a it's a strong way yeah. to be because you know yeah. i mean um superman was always there before and he will oh, yeah. be that it will be there after in a way and i mean that that's the thing you're always going to get your favorite sports team no matter what they do yes. or who they sign up you're going to support right. the team not necessarily the player but you can still support the player i i love exactly. henry cavill as an actor I'm excited to see what he does in his upcoming films. He's got two coming out early exactly. next year. I'm still manifesting that Henry Cavill interview that I hope to have oh, yes. one day. Let's hope it's, that happens. it's always bubbling underneath. I've always got some yeah. new idea to sort of to blag an interview, as it were. And who knows? I, I, right. I would love to have it. I would love to speak with him about Superman. I would love to speak with him about so many things. Right. Um, and Highlander, that's still happening apparently. So that's something that I would like yeah. to talk about. But and you saw, I think he has a new movie coming out to uh, Argyle. Yes, Argyle. Good. That's, that's going to be. Um, it's, it looks again very different to what he's done before. It's a nice very different, yeah, spy kind of action film. So that's going to yeah. be good. And then he's got the Ungentlemanly Warfare film as well that's coming out with the, oh. the Guy Ritchie film. So that's going to be a good. Yeah, one. yeah. But I, I support Superman, so I I would support yeah. the the players that play Superman as well. So yeah, it was an exciting time. It was a, it was a devastating time when we got Superman right. and, we, and we lost him, but then it didn't take long when James Gunn was on board to, for him to pretty much announce like, look, Superman's been the hero since day one. I'm yes. putting him at the forefront of the future of right. comics. And it was like, Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. You've got my attention, Mr. Gunn. What's next sort of thing. Exactly, yeah. Which I feel like we've never, we haven't had in a long time where Superman was, you know, the forefront. He's the he's the OG of the OGs, you know. <laughs> he should be the forefront of the, of this. And um, yeah, I think that's important. Uh, you know, in uh, in my Instagram DMs and all this stuff, and in the comments, you know, you get a lot of hate because you're supporting 
what is and you know message mm. to everybody is let's just bring positivity why are we spewing <laughs> superman wouldn't want that henry wouldn't want that no, let's no. support what <laughs> henry's doing now if you love henry go support all of his you know artwork if you love superman get excited because it's going to be an amazing time mm. um but yeah i mean enough of the negativity and let's just get to the positives you and know reading yeah. those comments i i I sometimes think, should I delete them? Should I not? You know, the hate that I get in my DMs. And I'm like, you know what? Now, nah, just let them be. Let them, you know, spew I mean, out. Yeah, and... it's it's difficult not to not to reply to every comment right. um, and especially not to reply to the negative ones. Sometimes right. there is a clear line of communication that you could have with somebody. Right. Sometimes right. They, they don't want to have a conversation. They just want to, to shout. They want to be the loudest right. person in the room when it comes to their opinion because their opinion is is the one that matters. Right, of course. That's and that's always been. I think that's you, you're always going to have that on on social media. So oh, yeah, it's a it's and that's a why box. I command I, I command James Gunn too because he's you know put that to the side and he's just full blown. You know, everyone can say, but you know, I'm a DC fan. I'm a comic fan, and I'm going to support the comic fans that want to see and is giving us you know, what we want, I feel, um, actors to the side and everything. And I'm I'm just so excited. At this point now, you know, I was in the upset. I did the do not disturb while I was, <laughs> but I allowed my thoughts to gather. And now, you know, I realize, like we said, I'm a Superman fan at first. I'm a DC fan at second. <laughs> and uh, Batman can come as third, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely said. I mean, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah, we, we always you're always going to get the, the big hitters. You're going to get the Spider Man, the Batman, the the, yeah. the Superman to some extent as well. Yeah. But um, as as you said, James Gunn has been promoting the comics first and and the movie second. He's made books oh, like yeah. Supergirl sell out for months. It's crazy the power he yeah. And that's it, it's good. I mean, that's you know, again, it's the power that comes with influence, but. From right. that, you are going to get people who Exciting. don't necessarily, yeah, who know about James yeah. Gunn or about that comic. Right. Think, well, why is this book sold out? Maybe I need to right. read it to find out why. And right. books like Supergirl and, and Wonder Woman that he's helping to sell out as well, and the of Superman course. books, along with everything else, he's getting action back into the the people that want to read the comics and possibly right. the films as well. Linking of those course. two worlds together has always been quite tricky and um, yeah. it's never been sort of a, a successful partnership. But right now there's a sort of possibly a turning point where comics and movies combined can, mm -hmm. can get people excited again. Oh yeah. And I met at New York comic con, one of the artists who did the Themyscira mm -hmm. um, book that James Gunn just promoted. And I was like, how, which is a beautiful book, highly recommend yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, and I asked him, you know, how's it been? He goes, Ben, it's been crazy. Everything's mm. just been blowing up. And I was like, you know, he only had one book left and the person behind me and it was the first day. I was like, oh my God. He goes, yeah, you can't buy. We have to redo everything now. We have to get new copies out there. Um, so shout out to the artists and the writers also who um, are being promoted right now and who deserve to be in the, you know, light as well because they created what will be. <laughs> And that's the thing. I think that's what we get in now when we do see those credits roll at the end of movies is that people are sticking yeah. about to see who who gets mentioned. Um, it's yes. difficult for everybody to get mentioned. You're always going to have to right. sort of um, some do get left out, sadly. Um, right. But it gets corrected in, in afterwards, which sometimes a little yeah. bit too late. But there are so many people, names and, as you said, artists and writers that help mm -hmm. a comic and a story come to life. And yes. without all those talented people, we wouldn't be getting those stories. It goes back all the way back, you know, to Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. They're, they're starting yes. it off. It's, again, it. it's, it's that comic family tree where you can just see it spread out over the decades right. yeah. and soon to be centuries, which is a crazy yes. concept. We're not that far away yeah. from a hundred years of Superman. But crazy. the way that again going back to James Gunn is, is the fact that he's he's promoting the stories and the characters. Mm -hmm. He is sharing his love for a lot of these zania, more unique characters mm -hmm. that necessarily wouldn't normally get much time in the spotlight. And right, exactly. 
but yeah, he does, as you said, he does interact with some of the comments online, mm-hmm. which is again, it's difficult to do. I'm sure. I'm right. sure he's got lots of other more interesting things to do. But I oh, think yeah. sometimes people want that soundbite, as it were, that James Gunn quote. So you'll see if mm-hmm. James Gunn can post something completely random and somebody say, oh, is Batman going to be in Superman Legacy? And if James Gunn says any- anything apart from yes or no, there'll be like 10 articles brought out the next day. James Gunn, oh, yeah. says, cra- James oh, Gunn thinks gosh. this about this and yeah. that about that. It's and a- I just saw an article from, um, I won't say from, but that was like going around Twitter that just came out yesterday about Henry Cavill Superman. And I'm thinking, why? Why? Let's talk about David. Let's talk about his projects. Let's talk about James. Let's talk about Superman legacy. <laughs> and that's what creates these divisions it, are these articles that keep coming up about the past. Let's look to the future. Yeah. And it's been so long. And I th- I got so angry at that article because I was like, you're bringing now. There was so much excitement about the release date and how the date's going to stick. And then you have this article come out. And it's like, why did you do yeah. that? <laughs> and it is, yeah. But it's again, it's about picking the things that you, you want to read and you want to interact right. with. Exactly. And there are lots of sort of people online now that are debunking articles and not yeah, only James amazing. Gunn. James Gunn yeah. does it every now and again and it's sort of this yeah. is the sort of a, a absolute flame pile oh, yeah. will, be, will be dragged on about people. But yes, as you said, mm. we've got the future to look forward to. We've got yeah. Superman legacy now and we've got we've got new names. We've got new characters. We've got many names. Lots of characters going to be in one film, which some people were happy about, some people not so much. But I think it's more exactly. the fact that Superman's going to be well known, as it were, in this film. He's going yes. to be around for a while, even though it is a younger Superman. Um, right. He's going to be had a name made for himself. So they've got characters in it like you've you've got your Green Lanterns, you've got other characters, you've got Lois straight away. Oh, There's yeah. going to be. Girl. That's it. And I mean, I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of origin story there. We don't know how much that's going to be, but right. we don't always need it. We just need a little exactly. glimpse, just a little homage, yeah. a little montage of moments. We had it with um, right. in, in the most recent, the Batman film. There was a there was a brief origin story there, and that was enough. We that know, was enough, yeah. We know these characters now. We don't need to see... Uh, yeah. Batman's or Bruce Wayne's mum's pearl necklace thrown across the alley one exactly. more time. We've seen this so many times. Yeah, exactly. But we we've got a few characters. We've got some some names. Uh, what, what what were your thoughts on on the castings for Superman Legacy, Jonathan? I mean, I think the castings have been out of this world, and I've started to dive into a lot of their work. Um, of you know, David, who. Uh, highly recommend watching Hollywood and wow. the politician. Yeah. Uh, he's done an amazing, I mean, his acting is great. And there's a glimpse of him in like a uniform and kind of looking Clark Kenty. I can remember <laughs> in, watching uh, that, um, that Hollywood show on, 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 yes. um, on Netflix when it came out and I was thinking there's something, you know, there's a little bit there of like yeah. a classic fifties Clark Kent. He's got oh, a, yeah. little, a little bit of a quiff going on. There, there could be a yeah. little curl there. So oh, yeah. I was <laughs> definitely intrigued when he was announced. Yeah, very intrigued. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. I like that the castings are actors that are not, had, uh, they're known, they are yeah. known, but aren't like, you know, they're in this blockbuster and this blockbuster. It's someone who's starting off, you know, David Korn said it's going to be doing this movie, uh, Superman legacy movie, and this could be changing his career forever. It's not so, like a Tom Cruise coming in and playing Superman and they're using Tom Cruise's name. I like that they are using Superman's name to push the movie and not the actor's name. So the castings are amazing from Lois Lane to... Uh, Isabella is hot girl, uh, yeah. who she's uh, she's going to be in Madame Web as well. Um, that's coming up. But um, even uh, Nathan, I'm excited to see him as Guy Gardner. I mean, he's, gonna be he's he's a charming individual. <laughs> the thing is, yeah. he he can really play um, multiple characters very well. Oh and yeah, the love that he's got for franchises and fandoms he's he's been around yeah. the block a few times he knows how oh, yeah. to 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 put on a show so I, oh, i'm yeah. excited i'm excited to see more of that that's for sure yeah. I know a lot of other people are as well he's he's a fun guy 
So the sort of oh, person yeah. you would want on a set, I'm for sure. Very fun guy. And I think that an amazing thing also, you know, he's been, like you said, he's been around the block. He's been around the block with James Gunn. And I yeah. think that's what's amazing that James Gunn is going to bring to the DC universe is the family unity that I feel like we've never really had in our, uh, you know, television and movie behind scenes up scenes you know when you watch when you see the pictures from his weddings like you know guardians of the galaxy team was all there peacemaker team was all there you know he builds these families and he truly loves everybody that joins the team and at new york comic con you know um the panel for the guardians of the galaxy came up and they tell they tell you you know he looks for actors that he wants to kind of take under his wing and mm -hmm. Um, you know, build a relationship with them, of course, professionally, but also, you know, watching out for their back, you know, making sure yeah. they're looking good on whatever project they're doing. And I, I'm excited for that, you know, the family value, you know, like I said, originally, I'm Greek, you know, I love the family value stuff. And that just means a lot. I'm hoping it brings that positivity. Uh, I know the UK, you guys have a little family too, which I love, you know, the from you and all of the crew from DC World, I just saw a post, and that's what we need more of around the world: is the family unity, yes. the caring unity. And James will have each other, each of their backs, which we've already seen him have. You know, David's back where he's defending him, whether it be tweets and all of this stuff. And that's just, but that's what I really look forward to. <laughs> and that's I, I, I'm I like the way that, as you said, the way that he makes movies and and makes it. Yeah makes it an experience not for for him i mean it's it's his job yeah. he wants to be good right. at it but he wants to have a good time at the same time he of wants course. to enjoy the process and i feel that right. if you enjoy the process as much as he is then the mm. people around you are going to enjoy it and m want to make a better impression they're going to want exactly, to do a better yeah. job so yeah the the future for superman legacy again right now it this is, is all it's in good hands, but again, it, yeah. we don't know too much. It is exactly. everything awesome. that you yeah. hear is clickbait. So right. whenever you know, I, I get an alert going off on my phone that's on a notification yeah. that someone's posted something. It's yeah. if it comes from James Gunn or DC Comics, or that's when I start clicking, <laughs> and that's it. So yes, recently yeah. we got we got the date. There we go, July twenty twenty five, July a summer blockbuster. The date that oh, he yes. wanted originally has you know he has kept with that and means a lot to him too yeah so that's that's that. it's exciting times but again it's it's yeah it's impossible not to come up with the theories that we want to happen or the yeah. the, the characters that we want to see so for you i'm i mean i know my opinions and, and thoughts mm. are going to change over the years of course what yeah. sort of story do you want from superman legacy oh well I want something that we've never seen before. I want something, you know, even with uh, the villain, I want something. Uh, and that's why I thought Superman and Lois, not to go off topic, was amazing is because of the villains that they chose were not villains. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing Lex Luthor, you know, to oh, spoiler, but yeah. towards the, you know, end of the, uh, see, but I'm looking for something, you know, he's at Daily Planet. We're seeing how he's working day to day, which we really having gotten to fully see in a movie um we're seeing maybe him build that relationship with lois lane like i would want to see an origin story about them two Oof, about yeah. how they got married and uh how they're maneuvering uh him being superman and clark you know what does lois lane do at the daily planet when clark kent flies away and people are asking where's clark <laughs> you know i want to see that i i would love a lois lane origin story from her, the yes. very young days of her being an army brat and going from base to base yeah. with her dad, getting into trouble, finding out secrets about things. Oh, yeah. Um, Lois Lane has been around exactly the same amount of time as Superman. She is as yes. important as Metropolis or Krypton or Superman. She's mm -hmm. been there since day one. So I'm and that's what so for that. That was so cool about Superman and Lois is they literally had a season of a villain that was directed to Lois Lane, you know, the parasite and that woman. And I love that they gave, they highlighted and, you know, it's uh, the actor did amazing job as Lois Lane in that series. Um, 
And that's what I love that they highlighted both of them. And they're both the stars. Without Superman, you know, you're not going to have the lowest lane. Without Lois Lane, you don't have Superman grounded and everything. So I just thought that was beautifully done as well. And that's what I hope we see on the big screens. Um, we've had amazing Lois Lanes in the past. I'm excited to see what Rachel does mm. um, and brings to the table. And hopefully we get more scenes with um, them together. But I really do want to also see uh, a build up to a main villain, maybe in like a third movie of superman like you know as it continues you know where it starts off with you know whether it be lobo or you know and it works i want to see Bra oh, i'm just gonna say i want to see brainiac i really yeah. want to just see brainiac on our big screens one day um down it's, the line it's a, it's a it's well brainiacs has a few interpretations over the years but they've all been right. very menacing very yeah. visual very you look at them and you know okay yeah, that's a villain that's not somebody that yeah. could be a villain that is definitely a villain so yeah oh, i yeah. would love to be in a world where we, we get to see a, a brainiac i would love mm -hmm. to see a bizarro i would love oh, to see yeah. a lobo all things oh, yeah. things that are possible but also i want to see i want to see a crypto I want to see yes, the, crypto, the joyful yeah. of that. I want to see Superman interacting with Jimmy Olsen. I want to see mm -hmm. Superman coming down and being the man of the people and speaking with the police, the fire service, the doctors. I want to see Oh, yeah. I want to see it all. I want to see Superman speaking with Bibbo Babowski. There's characters yeah. from the <laughs> yeah. DC family that are just absolutely yeah. perfect representations of superman fans but in the form of a character and bibbo babowski yeah. for me i had a friend that was at new york comic con recently as well and there oh, was um yeah. there was a bibbo cosplay and i was like I, I just i would want to give them just the biggest cuddle it's a oh, character yeah. that you never really see and it's like exactly, a person yeah. that i could cosplay as because we both have the same sort of <laughs> physique it, it could work out you got to do it there that's it and but it's <laughs> it's the hopefulness of the future that we have with Superman yeah. legacy that, you know, we, we have the love for those characters and it's something new, but again, right now it's, it's all about hope and us yes. imagining what the future could be. I think when you know, James Superboy is joining the team or, you know, that's, I, I want to see him build his family where the, you know, Connor Kent there. coming into play. Let's get him off. <laughs> it's all in there. It's all got the possibility for yeah. more. And that, that's what I love yeah. about it. That is the hope for the future. And as we talk about the hope for the future, the film yes. comes out, as we said, in 2025. You've got your own little uh, your own little mission, haven't you? Oh, uh, I've... yes, I do. I've started a mission to... You have. It's, it's, a, yes. it's a very fun adventure and one that I'm all for. Oh, yeah. So tell, tell me more a bit about difficult. that. Of course, yeah. So I decided one day, you know, I was looking in a mirror and I was like, damn. I got big and you know I was scrolling through my phone and I came across this uh Instagram called uh, his name is Mike I, you know I won't say too much about his story because that's his story but I saw his transformation and I clicked on the link of the trainer that he used and uh it's called Geek Fitness and uh what Geek Fitness is are a bunch of these cosplayers um, that help people work out, that help people get in shape. Uh, and that's what I'm fighting for right now is it's going to be a long journey, but I'm looking to get fit, healthy. Um, and I've decided for July 11th, 2025, <laughs> I'd like to be wearing the Superman cosplay outfit, but I want to wear it confidently. I want to wear it looking like the Man of Steel himself. <laughs> um, so that's what I am going to be fighting for and motivating me to get to the Superman legacy uh, and wearing the S on my chest, which is a symbol of hope. Um, and yeah. I am I am behind you 110% with this. Thank you very much. I Thank cannot you. wait to be, you know, a, like a Rocky coach, as it were, on the sidelines saying, oh, come on. Yeah, thank you, bro. I'm going to make yeah. you eat lightning and crap thunder. We're going to do this, buddy. We're going to do this. <laughs> yeah. One more round. One more round. Oh, yeah. And I have to, my, my trainer is Thor, is Thor himself. And uh, he's, he's been amazing. He's 
I think the difference, you know, through my life, I've always tried to do diets and tried to do the workouts and it just never landed. And the difference between this is that comics are involved. And what have I always loved is Superman and comics. And, you know, while I am on the treadmill running or something, I'm reading a comic book and, you know, he is Thor telling me what to work out on. And he's from Australia. I'm from America, but it still works out because there's that connection of comic love. <laughs> love and I finally found something to help me. And I'm also passionate. I love Superman. Like I said before, I wanted to wear the glasses. Forget the glasses. I can't wear them. I'm going to wear the suit then. <laughs> it's it's a it's a good best. It's, it's a good second yeah. best. Now, I, yeah. I have many, many, many a year ago put on a Superman cape and a costume to oh, be yeah. in a friend's uh, college video. It's on YouTube. Oh, wow. somewhere. Some, there's some oh, dreadful, I have to, I'm going to search for it. There's some dreadful <laughs> method say. acting. But <laughs> I'll tell you, there's, there is a moment when, you know, you put on the costume. I think it's yeah. different for those that are a big fan of Superman. You think, oh, this yeah. is, I'm standing up a little bit taller in this. I, I, oh, can, yeah. I can feel myself being a little bit more confident as I'm walking down the street. Yeah. So I think... <laughs> yeah. The moment you can, you can, you can get into that costume. You're going to want to push yeah. yourself further. You're going to keep testing your limits, as it were. Of course, yes, it's, yeah. it's going to be good for that. And I'm, I'm excited to see where that journey takes you because it's an inspiring course, story, yeah. and I'm looking Thank forward you. to seeing more Thank of you. it. And, and I have to think also, you know, like James Gunn. I have to thank Eric because the passion that he's had for this character really has built this passion and motivation in me as well. So, you know, shout out to James Gunn for really, you know, changing my life for the better. You know, he's brought what I love to the forefront. And, you know, I thank him. I thank people like you as well and people who have dropped in. You know, my I didn't think, I was nervous. I posted my first thing about, you know, telling people the challenge. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do it. I still have, you know, roles here. And I got like stuff hanging over there. And, uh, you know, my trainer pushed me. He's like, no, do it. Let's get to that first step. Because once you do it, then it's going to go from flying from there. And the response to that post was just amazing and really, truly, you know, made made my my day, made my year, made my years to come. And <laughs> I'm excited to see where it does go. Kind of but thing. The, the exciting thing there is the fact that you, yes, you have, you, you've pushed yourself to go and do this. Yeah. But the thing is, possibly without even knowing you're doing it. Yeah. You're inspiring other people that yes, they, might yes. not have had the confidence or the know-how to do these right. things, but you are through your platform, you are educating others right. and you're telling them, this is what I've done. It might not be the best mm -hmm. thing for you, but these are the options out there that you have. And right. by other people seeing you take on this journey, you're, you are inspiring them, which me. which I absolutely Thank adore. You. But something yeah. else that oh, you yes. told me about recently that I'm I'm very excited to hear about is you oh, are yes. taking part in um in a little fun run. Oh yes, ah, oh, it's an amazing Superman run. There uh, we go. That DC works with uh, this uh, Superman run organization. They do it for Wonder Woman. They do it for Batman as well. So if you're <laughs> those fans you could do those <laughs> runs but it's a, it's an amazing uh organization that is raising money for children who have uh cancer uh it's called it's a hospital uh in america that's called saint um oh my gosh uh, saint john's uh and they're raising money to you know make a better future and i think it's an amazing connection between superman and this charity because we want to give them hope we want to give them a better tomorrow. Uh, and I will be doing the run um, shortly after, <laughs> you know, this and it'll be posted. I'm going to be holding up posters throughout the time with Superman motivational quotes because I want the kids to see it. This is going to be about the kids. Message to cancer. Leave our kids away alone. You know, it's just something that it holds dearly to me. I thankfully have you know not gone through it but seeing what they have gone through just really upsets me and motivates me to want to make a better future for them they should have an amazing life they should have amazing everything and i'm really hoping 
Uh, I've been with this organization actually uh, for years now. I've done, you know, St. Jude's carnivals and St. Jude's uh, telethons and stuff for the kids. And now I'm excited to be doing the St. Jude's Superman run um, that I will have a link in my bio when the run drops for you guys to join as well. Uh, you know, the merchandise is amazing also that they have. And yeah, let's get the show on the road. And there'll be a link in my bio as well to donate to St. Jude's. Um, I, I, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I will be sharing that. Yeah. You can find that link in the <laughs> podcast as well, because I, I need to, to help in, in whatever way I can with this. I want to be a part. Yeah, I can't right. make it over there. I, I certainly can't run. Um, oh, yes. I did, I, did, I, did, I did a charity <laughs> walk a few years ago in a Superman oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, hey, yeah, you can do whatever you want, and, and that's, that's the best I mean. part of it. You can but fly, that's... you can run, you can. <laughs> you know. I'll try my best, but that's. Uh, but yeah. I, I love that element that you are doing that, but it's also the combination of Superman at the same time. You are able yeah. to combine both those things uh, yes. for a fantastic cause for your yes. your 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 fitness journey as well. It, it's all combining towards. It's it, all combining. But... But again, Superman being at the you know the center of it, and I love the center of it all. Changing, but, he changes all of our lives. Let me tell you. Yeah. And I will. And I listen, will... if he was real, I would say Lois Lane. Who? Come on, call me. <laughs> <laughs> I would switch parties and party. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. Superman has that power, which is what we love. Yeah. And I'm, I'm so I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing how you get on with that fun run. I'm looking forward to seeing course, how we can all help out with that as well. And yeah. I, I, the the future of Superman is is bright because oh, yes. because of people like you said that are doing the good work and yeah, and being <laughs> again it's it, there's people that are Superman fans and people that are ambassadors and people that are a combination of those two things which is what oh, yeah. you're doing you're sharing your love for the character but also everything mm -hmm. that the character stands for so. Thank oh, you yes. for that, Jonathan. I really appreciate thank that. Thank you very much. And thank you for highlighting it all. <laughs> thank you. No, that's what's possible. I'm here for you. Know? So I, yeah. I love talking about Superman. I love oh, yeah. listening about Superman. So. Oh, yeah. And I, I, that's why I know in the future you will be back on the show more to talk yeah, about you. your fitness journey. I, I want to talk, to talk with Thor. I would love to have oh, yes. Thor on the Thor, show. Yes, we got so we, Thor we'll on the show. We'll have to work that out at some point where we can get you yes, both Yeah, on. definitely. To talk yeah. about all that we'd but, be all over the world from australia uk to the us we'll get it all, all over the united we'll, 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 co we'll cover it all over all the bases yeah. <laughs> but again thank you for that thank you for this charity that you're doing thank you for all the the inspiration yeah. and and the news that you share with the masses around the world um oh, yeah you'll be on the show again soon i'm excited okay. for it but um before oh, we um, i wrap up with my final question that i love to ask people yes um where can people find you online jonathan where can people follow oh yes daily crypto? you can catch me on all of the social media platforms where uh, my main one is of course the instagram that's where i uh started my baby the daily kryptonian uh, we've just joined TikTok, so if you want to see some a little dance moves or a little something funny for Superman, <laughs> check us out on TikTok, The Daily Crypto. <laughs> um, we're on YouTube, Daily Kryptonian, uh, Twitter or X, whatever the yeah, that course. website we're on as well. <laughs> so check us out. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you follow, subscribe, join the journey, our journey of you know working out and getting fit for the Superman legacy. Um, join the journey as we take on Superman legacy and the DC right. universe. <laughs> that's what I love. And that's what it. So all again, all those links will be down there below. So Jonathan, thank you for that. Thank you that everything you have. Thank you very much. Finally, the question that I, I simply adore oh. asking people from around the world. Yes. What does Superman mean to you? Oh, oh my gosh. What doesn't he mean to me? <laughs> he's uh, he's uh, somebody that I've looked up to from day one. Somebody who gives us hope. Somebody who gives me um, wanting to get to the next today and make a better tomorrow by reading, you know, his books and his story, his journeys that these artists and writers are creating really pushes me to keep moving and to keep fighting. And he's just, uh, I could go on for days and days, what he means to me, <laughs> uh, somebody that I wish and I hope to meet one day on the big screen <laughs> to 
to see one day flying in our skies now that we have aliens uh, confirmed. And <laughs> I'm going to search for him. I've already sent out an SOS team, the Daily Kentonians team. But uh, just somebody who means the world to me. Yeah. Perfect. There's not. There's never a wrong answer to that question. No. Yeah. And, it's, it's, and it's something that I, my answer constantly changes as well. When yeah. people people say, "Oh, well, look, why Superman?" or, or you know, "What what does Superman yeah. mean to you?" It's a question that it changes with the weather, but yeah, it's the fact that I oh, yeah. see people talk about Superman and I, and I see them smile the way that you just. Oh did. yeah, <laughs> I see <laughs> them. I see them look for the reasons why Superman makes them happy, and you get that oh, moment yeah. of inspiration in someone where they think, "Oh well." Sometimes people would say, "Well, that's not the answer that Superman would give," and then, but that's that's not the point. Is that you're trying to do the best version? You're trying yes. to find the right words. You're trying to just be good in a way. Oh, and, yeah. and I and I love that. And again, then it's why sometimes I can start to ramble when I talk about Superman. <laughs> I can and, do the same thing. Yeah, too, and, but you? it happens, and that's why, as I said, sometimes these episodes do go on for a very long time. But I know that in the future mm -hmm. you're going to be coming back on the show to talk more. Yes, to talk. Maybe more I'll come you. to UK. Yes, I want to uh, have a nice dinner at the Park Tower. <laughs> I always see the the post. Let me tell you, I get so jealous of you guys over in the UK. <laughs> I got to come over. I mean, I you, there's a few places in America that I need to visit, but if you, oh, come, yeah. if you come into if you come into England, you come into London, you got to go yeah. to Park Row. You got to go to a few places oh, yeah, in right. London just for that DC <laughs> yeah. experience. So if you're coming over, oh yeah. I'm taking I'll, it. I'll I'm let taking you, know. you out for <laughs> dinner. I'm taking you out to my own. And that's an important home. thing to let people know is that Superman Legacy sounds like it's far away, but there's a lot of stuff we can do before then. You could go enjoy Smallville in America, or go to the UK and enjoy some DC fun. Okay. There's so many. Do a Superman run, um, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fast, and I can't wait to come to the UK too. <laughs> and I tell you what, I, I do like the sound of this Superman run. If I ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I I love walking. Here's the thing. Um, oh, you can walk them. <laughs> if, I, if I can walk it briskly, if I do a fast yeah. walk, maybe a slight jog for some of it. Anything, oh yes, anything for me to do with Superman and supporting oh, yeah. others, I'm there for. So we shall look into that in the future as well. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for being thank just, you. just a perfect guest for making me want to talk about Superman even more with you. Thank you. I'm and look, excited. Superman. We keep talk, bringing up his name, and the sun keeps coming into the to the, to the shot. <laughs> it, was all, it was all part of the process. It was all planned. Yeah. It was all planned. <laughs> all planned. But thank yeah. you for everything that you do. Keep keep us all posted. Okay. I'm going to share links below. This podcast Perfect. will be going out very soon. Um, so maybe the fun run would Perfect. you know be happening then. But the links yes. will be there to find out more about Perfect. you, to find out what you're doing. Uh, Jonathan, thank you very much. Keep doing what you're doing. And the future is, is looking bright, buddy. Yeah. Thank you so much, man.